Hi, I'm Brennan Sim, Senior Vice President of EB5 United, and welcome to EB5U TV. There has been a lot of news in the EB5 industry since our last EB5U TV episode, so let's get you up to speed. First, let's check out the Visa Bulletin. Some great news is that in the August 2021 Visa Bulletin, Vietnam became current for the first time in years. This means that the only country with a current backlog is China, which is backlogged to November of 2015. The biggest news in EB-5 is that on June 22, 2021, a judge in San Francisco struck down the regulations implemented November 21st of 2019 that changed the targeted employment minimum investment from $500,000 to $900,000. What this means is that investors can now apply in EB-5 projects at the $500,000 price point in a targeted employment area and the million dollar price point in a non-targeted employment area. However, on June 30th, 2021, the EB-5 Regional Center program failed to receive reauthorization from the US Congress. What this means is that past investors' cases will sit in abeyance and wait for reauthorization before they are adjudicated again. This also means we cannot accept new investors into regional center projects until the program is reauthorized. In EB-5, about 97% of investors utilize the regional center program. However, the regional center program is the only program that is currently in lapse. The direct EB-5 program is still available and is not in lapse. Investors can continue to invest at $500,000 while the regional center program is awaiting reauthorization. At EB-5 United, we have now structured direct EB-5 offerings for our investors to capitalize on the $500,000 price point. With the regional center program in lapse, these projects lock in our investors at $500,000. It is expected that the regional center program will be reauthorized at a higher price point. So utilizing these direct projects can secure investors in an EB-5 project at $500,000. On August 23, 2021, the U.S. government also appealed the court case that struck down the regulations and moved the price point back from $900,000 to $500,000 in a targeted employment area. If the government is to win this appeal, the price point would go back up to $900,000. The Department of Homeland Security has made it very clear that they do want to see the $500,000 price point rise, and it is unlikely that we will have the Regional Center program back at $500,000. At this point, the only way to be sure to lock in the $500,000 price point is to invest in a direct EB-5 project. In direct EB-5 projects, it is much more difficult to create the 10 jobs necessary to obtain a green card. And therefore, we cannot take on as many investors per project through the direct program. At EB-5 United, we are well aware of the impact that this regional center lapse has on our past and future investors. We are working diligently with people in Washington to try to help aid Congress in reauthorization of the program. Moving forward, we do expect the EB-5 Regional Center program to be reauthorized. At this point, we are unsure when this will happen, but it looks like it should be at some point throughout the rest of 2021. What is likely to happen is for the Regional Center program to be attached to another legislative bill that would be passed in Congress. Looking into the future, the best thing that a potential investor can do is begin to work with an attorney to start the source of funds process. Thank you for watching EB5U TV. I hope this update was able to give you some good insight on what's going on with the EB5 program and what steps you can take into the future. For more information on EB5 and EB5 United projects, please contact us at eb5united.com or click on one of the links below. Thank you.